Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Disappearances video. Well, I thought I would mix one of these in here while I'm continuing to do your cryptids and monsters suggestions. This one though, with a little twist. Normally in my videos on the Mysteries and Disappearances side, I focus on those that are more on the tragic end. Like in other words, they either got kidnapped or something happened to them where they just outright disappeared in the middle of nowhere, never to be seen again. This one though, I saw this in the news the other day and I thought to myself, why not showcase this one here because it does have to do with a disappearance, but the twist is it's a purposeful one. In other words, someone has come across a lot of money and allegedly took that money and then drove off, never to be seen I guess again, I guess we'll find out later on because who knows what the future holds for this story as it develops and it's going to be something that I'm going to follow up soon. But you're looking at least of the picture of the getaway car here and it has to do with this. It's the $10 million disappearance from a woman there in Germany. So very, very fascinating stuff when I was reading this information. Definitely it's gonna be made into a TV movie or maybe even a film someday. So here's how the story went. So just the other day there in Germany, in fact, I think it was uh, a place called Bremen, Germany, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it happened in May, for example. There was this young woman, her name was Yasmin Gundogan, who you're looking at a picture of here. She allegedly, and again, I have to say allegedly on these, because this is an ongoing case, who knows? She may actually be a 100% innocent party with regards to what's happening, but at least until there's a conviction, something in the court of law, it's always good to see at least allegedly. But she allegedly made off with $10 million from the company that she worked for. So here's essentially what she was doing. You're wondering how does someone do that with so much money at a location. She worked at a place that did a delivery for Loomis. Loomis is of course one of those very, very large, secure money transporting services company. You've seen those big trucks, right? The ones that have the stacks of cash on the inside that normally go over to banks or credit unions or even other places like uh, traditional shops that have large amounts of cash or anything else as well. I've even seen situations involving restaurants. You sometimes see them parked out there because they handle a lot of cash too. Well, she was working there and her job was doing things involving taking stacks of paper money putting them in cases and then getting them ready for transportation to Loomis. And so that's essentially what her job was. I don't know how long she had worked there. It made it sound like when I was reading the information that she had worked there enough time that people didn't, I guess, suspect anything out of the ordinary. Who knows? It may have been years or it may have been recent, but she was there and she was working at a specific spot dealing with lots of cash. And that essentially led to the next thing. And so on that fateful day in late May, she allegedly, again, allegedly took that money from a locked security bag or some area that again was locked, but then she hid them inside a wheeled bin. I don't know how large this wheeled bin, how on earth, in other words, this could have been done, but she did that, covered it up with trash, and then she rolled that wheeled bin outside and then unloaded it into a black Mercedes Benz, which again, you're looking at here. This is a minivan. And the way the story goes, I this was something that had also different license plates, not the ones that it had on it, but instead stolen ones on there. And so I don't know if this was her minivan or if this was a completely different minivan, but as the story continues, she went in to that minivan and then allegedly drove off. She got in there and no one has seen her since. It was only a couple of weeks later that that's when and this is where the mystery begins, no one realized that the cash was missing. Um, actually, my apologies, it took four days 
for the cash to be discovered missing, but it looks like it was even longer for them to associate uh, 2 plus 2, in other words, adding this young woman as the culprit. And so when that happened, surveillance cameras were looked at, and then they found that everything was there. Everything was there in terms of her sneaking out of the building with that wheel bin. When I, when I think of the wheel bin, I imagine those large gray ones that are sometimes used like at retail stores or maybe even um, large uh, places for shops, stuff like that, that you can just wheel those uh, items from one place to another and then have a lot of things at the same time while making it convenient at the same time to push it or pull it. And so that's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, all these surveillance cameras were looked at and then that's when they found out that that occurred. And as of this day, this young woman hasn't been found now for several weeks. And um, police have, of course, issued arrest warrants now. That may, I'm guessing they have found at least enough evidence evidence, viable evidence, to tie her to it. What's remaining also a mystery is, at least with regards to her allegedly, you know, driving off with it, what remains a mystery, though, is whether she was working with other parties. And so if that's the case, then there's going to be even more information afterward, and then we'll see what happens when that kind of stuff occurs. Now, the interesting twist also is this. I've seen similar stories in the past in fact there was another one that i recall oh i don't know how many years back 10 plus years or so but there was a story of a guy who was also working at one of those similar cash counting places for one of those big um big companies again that deal with transportation of large amounts of cash and apparently in that situation if i recall correctly he in turn kind of partnered up with someone else that worked there that he fell in love with and vice versa and then they kind of used each other to steal that money and run off it was also um, several million dollars but the story goes that he in turn went to Mexico uh, because the heat was going to be on him when it came to getting this. Uh, in other words, the police and others trying to get him for it. So obviously, they linked him to the actual crime. But the money itself ended up being in some storage place that he no longer had access to because – if I recall correctly, I think that woman actually ended up working with someone else to, to use and kind of like steal that money from him. And so he in turn had to come back from Mexico because he suddenly realized, hey, you know, this money's never going to come my way, even though it was supposed to be sent. I don't know if it was by courier or wire or anything like that. But when he came back, he was arrested. So the point is, I've seen enough of these stories now to realize there's never a happy ending. Something will happen. There's a great line in Jackie Brown where that bounty hunter is talking with Jackie Brown. I think it is, what was his name? Max Cherry, if I'm not mistaken. And him and, and Jackie Brown are talking about the steal uh, from, from Samuel Jackson's character. And then as that's occurring, she says, it's only $500,000. No one will miss it. And then he says a great line where he says, Every, uh, somebody will always miss $500,000. In other words, they're always going to be looking for whoever stole it. This case, though, is $10 million, nearly $10 million in solid cash. Again, there's no way that there's going to be any kind of happy ending here when it comes to this either this young woman if she stole allegedly stole the cash is found she's going to be obviously in big trouble and there's going to be considering the large amount of money there's going to be a large fine and a large jail time or if she was working with other parties again allegedly then there's a chance that those parties might get caught and then there's always a situation of getting better deals when it comes to jail time if they turn in other partners and then again that's where it'll lead to Yasmin Gundogan potentially and allegedly being involved in this and getting into more trouble or even worse I mean there's stories like if you see the great movie No Country for Old Men obviously when he finds that large amount of cash in that briefcase Everyone else starts looking for Josh Brolin's character, and then that's it. It obviously spelled doom for him afterward. So all of this reminds me again of 
that I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely follow up on this story too. Um, when there's more updates, especially what happens to her afterwards. I've, let's say if she gets caught or if there's culprits that get caught and so on, then I'm going to follow up on this and report it. But I think there's gonna be some bad news happening soon. Ten million dollars is a lot of money. It'll always be missed and it'll always be hunted down to by authorities and others to figure out get a conclusion in other words to this and we'll see what happens so in any case just wanted to again present this unique twist on a video when it comes to my mysteries and disappearances this one is a voluntary disappearance clearly tied to a crime if it involves her allegedly again then otherwise uh we'll see who it ties into but voluntary disappearance very first time that i'm talking about that here within my channel but if anybody has any more info since this story came out still kind of new but if you have any more comments on this then please post those comments below what are your thoughts too when it comes to this young woman if she did it allegedly then we'll see what happens afterward but i want to see what your thoughts are as to whether she was just involved on her own or had other parties anything like that is she gonna get caught Stuff like that. We'd love to see what your comments are. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care.